quick little video on how to get rid of the pacifier is here for you. Many people struggle with their child's pacifier because it becomes this tool that you have to have in order for your child to stay asleep. So in the beginning, those first four months, you're constantly replacing the pacifier and it becomes a game when they spit it out and you have to go back in and you have to spit it out and they go back in. It's constant. And then all of a sudden they figure it out. They replace the pacifier on their own. You feel good for a while. And then you get hit with your dentist telling you it's time to take your pacifier out of your child's mouth because now they're preschooler and you don't know what to do. I'm gonna give you three quick tips. There's three strategies and it's simple. The three strategies start with one, you either can get rid of it and go cold turkey. I often say that's the best way to do it and execute it because it's clear. You can start at night, get rid of the pacifier altogether and use a sleep training technique to replace the pacifier. At nap time, don't worry about giving up the pacifier quite yet. We wanna make sure naps are still in the routine and they're getting quality sleep because we now know at night they might not be. So we wanna make sure that once the nighttime is set in stone, usually after a week or two of no pacifier, then you can go ahead and start working on the naps, which is our second strategy. You'll go ahead and start working on nap training by taking the pacifier out of their mouth. Do not keep it at all, get rid of it altogether, and then use your sleep training technique to work on them falling asleep on their own. Now, if you have a child who can go gradual, you are more than welcome to do so. Meaning you can go ahead and give them the pacifier one time and then if they drop it out of their mouths or you need to get rid of it altogether, then go ahead and take it away. Or I've heard other tips on just making the taste of the pacifier yucky. There's some products out there that you can put on the pacifier mouth and you can go ahead and get rid of that slowly. But the cold turkey strategy is the way to go, especially with the older children. And also a third tip is to make sure you're not giving the pacifier throughout the day. This is only given during the night. So if you have to start there, then start there. Meaning I'm not giving you this pacifier until you're in your crib, or I'm not giving you this pacifier until you're in your big girl or big boy bed. Then you can go ahead and execute the cold turkey strategy and say, once that's in play, now we'll go ahead and say, we'll get rid of the pacifier altogether. Now it's important to know that when you get rid of the pacifier, you have to make sure you've gotten rid of it always. That's throughout the entire day. Do not second guess yourself and think, oh my gosh, it would be so much easier if I just gave it to them. I know they would go right to sleep. Yes, they would, but you would still be in the same situation, if not worse, down the road. But at some point, you have to get rid of it. And if you're ready to do so, now is the time. If you need more quick tips and tricks, go ahead and check out thecradlecoach.com or you can go ahead onto our Instagram page for more information on who we are and how we can help you. Have a great day and sweet dreams.